Tonight, family and friends are remembering a mother and her four children killed in a wrong way crash in McHenry County. Friend of the family also in that car and died. The father badly injured in the crash. WGN's Dana Revick is live in Oriole Park where loved ones have been gathering tonight. Dana. Well, this balloon release was held a couple of hours ago. Now it was extremely emotional. A lot of children here with their parents who were friends of these kids trying to grapple with a loss of this magnitude. All these children and their parents part of a local football program. At the park where Loren Dobosch spent countless hours watching her kids cheer and play football, members of the Oriole Park Falcons gathered tonight along with her brother to remember them. Loren and Tom were never not busy. Amen. <laughs> Amen. They took care of everyone else's kids, even theirs, before themselves. These kids always had the brightest smile on their face. How can that be possible, you know? For them, all to, for them to be here all in this very moment, just Friday, I was seeing them here, and then for them to be, just be gone. Luis Hernandez coached Dobosch's youngest son, Nikki. He says he and his siblings, Lucas, Ella, and Emma, were headed north to Minnesota for a vacation with their parents, along with Emma's 13 year old friend. When around 2 15 a.m. Sunday, Illinois State Police say 22 year old Jennifer Fernandez of Carpentersville hit them head on in her Acura. Fernandez driving the wrong way in the westbound lanes of I 90 near Hampshire. Both vehicles burst into flames. Fernandez also died. 32-year-old Thomas Dobosch, the sole survivor, airlifted to Loyola University Medical Center. Tom, I know right now he's not doing so well. Um, please keep him in your prayers. I don't know if he's going to make it, but hopefully he will. Um, and if he does, he's going to need everybody's love and support because I'm sure this is going to be the hardest thing he's ever had going to have to deal with. Thomas Dobosch works as a carpenter. His wife was a bartender at Lulu's Gaming in Rolling Meadows, where the family lived. That was her number one love, was her kids and her family, and it's so sad that it's ended this way, and uh, I can't believe it. We're still in shock here. The kids were very friendly. They were always very talkative. We'd always run into them at the supermarket. Neighbor David Moreno has known the family for 10 years and says the loss is hitting the entire neighborhood. Oh, it's going to impact it a lot, you know, especially the neighbors, just because, you know, we all get along very, very well and we all talk and, you know, communicate and, you know, it'll definitely be hard because, you know, the kids always played in the front yard. They'd always wave high. A tragedy so painful and difficult to comprehend. You know, how do you explain to uh, your seven year old son that his teammate <laughs> His teammate won't be coming back. Please, everybody, just hug your kids tighter tonight. Um, life is short, and you just never know what's going to happen. The Palatine Elementary School District 15 has set up virtual and in-person counseling. All of these children were part of that district. There is a GoFundMe page established for funeral expenses and medical costs. And also, the City of Rolling Meadows has opened up its Hope Fund. All of those donations will go to the family as well. Live on the Northwest Side, Dana Rebick, WGN News. Appreciate it, Dana.